Hey guys, it's your boy Mark back with another video, and I'm here to give you my Avengers Endgame 2019 spoiler discussion. Yes, guys, you heard that right. I'm talking about all the spoilers in this movie. So if you guys haven't seen this movie or don't want to be spoiled, click away and come back once you've seen the film. It still hasn't released in the US, so I don't suspect too many people will watch this video straight away. But yeah. So, endgame. Let's talk about spoilers. Um, so, Captain Marvel saves Tony Stark. Uh, that was, oh, that was awesome. When, um, it was so nice to see Captain Marvel, who was barely in this movie, surprisingly. And, um, she was on who saved, saved Tony Stark. And that was at the very start of the movie. Um, brought, uh, um, brought him back to Earth. And, uh, and then he he meets the Avengers again, and um, you know uh, Captain Marvel has joined the team and stuff, and um, yeah, this movie gets set into motion basically, like for real. Um, and uh, I like oh yeah, that opened up like the very very opening was um, that was Facebook, sorry, was um, uh, Hawkeye's family being dusted. Yep. And, um... And, uh... Yeah. Not surprising at all that, um... That, uh, that happened, honestly. Um, it was something that we kind of knew was going to happen, and it was so emotional. Um... And, um... I think I'm the first to, uh, like, kind of do a spoiler discussion, discussion, um, uh, of this film, but, uh, I probably, I won't be, I definitely won't be the first, um, I mean, the only one, I mean, and, um, and, um, then they all decided that, um, there's so much to talk about, holy crap, like, even more than I remembered, um, that, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and, uh, then they decide, the Avengers, that they're going to find Thanos, wherever he is, and get the stones from him, to do the snap again, and bring everyone back, but when they find Thanos, turns out that he destroyed the stones, yep, and almost killed him. And, uh, then they were all attacking him, man. Hulk, I mean, Bruce Banner was attacking the crap out of him. Like, boom, 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 boom. And then, like, Captain Marvel beat the crap out of him some more. And, uh, Thanos had become a farmer, you know, of course. And, um, and, uh, and then they talked to Thanos, and he says, that, uh, he destroyed the Infinity Stones. Thanos destroyed the Infinity Stones. And that almost killed him. I think I already said that. Yeah. And then Thor, just like that, decapitates him. He just chopped his head off a Stormbreaker. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, just like that, Thanos is dead. Like, wow. That's crazy. He was the main character of the previous movie. And just like that in this movie, he gets killed in the first, like, ten minutes. Like, holy shit, that was a little bit shocking. But my boy, John Campio, and, uh, Robert, um, Maya Burnett, they thought something like that might happen. Like, Thanos gets killed just like that. And then they're, like, they're in despair. And then, five years later, everyone is still sad about what happened. Uh, the decimation, of course, um, the Black Widow growing her hair out, and, um, Steve is going to meetings and stuff, and, um, and, uh, wow, and Hawkeye is Ronan killing people in Tokyo, and, uh, yeah, and Tony Stark has a daughter, him and Pepper had a daughter, Morgan, like Tony's dream at, at the start of Infinity War. 
And uh, that was nice, actually. That was a nice thing to see. And then um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Then Scott Lang comes back, of course. He has no idea. It's actually been five years. And then he says that, um, and then he finds out that, uh, everyone came back, you know? I mean, I mean, what happened, you know, the decimation and stuff. And then he was assumed to have died in that decimation. And then he, he goes to Avengers facility, of course. And then he talks about, like, um, how he could possibly time travel. Because to him, it felt like five hours. He said it himself when, uh, he, uh, came out of the quantum, uh, realm. And then they were like, we can time travel, get the stones, and, um, wow, there's a lot that happens in this movie, isn't there? Um, time travel, get the stones, and then snap everyone back into existence. Um, like crazy, man. And then, um, yeah, they decide to do that. You have Black Widow and Hawkeye going to Vormir. You have Thor and Rocket going to, um, to, uh, Asgard. And, uh, you have, um, and you have, uh, uh, what's I saying? Um, dang, um, Nebula and Rhodey going to grab the Power Stone, and yeah, and then we go on each of their journeys, and then we hit, we see uh, Professor Hulk. Oh yeah, Professor Hulk. Yeah, um, that was crazy when you see Professor Hulk for the first time, and Bruce Banner is basically permanently like Hulk now, um, but this time he's fully in control. He mixed together the brains. And the muscle of Hulk, he said it himself. And that was funny when, um, those kids came up to him, Hulk, can we have a picture? And yeah, and then Ant-Man was like, um, hey, you want a picture with me too? And then he's like, oh, they have no idea who I am, you know? And, uh, and Thor, when we see Thor again, oh man, I, I forgot to see this, there's so much stuff that happens. This is before they decide to time travel. And, uh, yeah, and Tony wasn't like, fully on board with, uh, time traveling, uh, at first, you know, um, he just, he, he liked his new life, and he wanted to keep that, you know, and, um, yeah, being a husband and father, and, um, and, uh, yeah, and Thor, he is fat as heck, I did not expect that at all, Thor was just fat ass, and Korg, my boy Korg returned, he didn't die in the snap, and Meek, and then Korg, he was awesome, I love Korg so much, he was like, oh, this guy called me a dickhead, <laughs> that was amazing, and then, then Thor grabbed the thing, uh, you better log off, or, or I'll, or I'll fly over to your house and kill you, or something like that, that was amazing, Oh, man, it put a huge smile on my face seeing my boy Korg again. Oh, man. And, um, yeah, and, uh, uh, Korg and everyone, um, there's so many actors in this movie, man. Holy crap, how did they do it? Um, and, uh, yeah, they all get the Infinity Stones, but, uh, uh, Loki grabbed the Tesseract from the Avengers timeline. The, the movie The Avengers, I mean. And, um, and, uh, so they had to go somewhere else to get, uh, the Tesseract, and they went back to 1970, and it was awesome seeing Tony meet his father, you know, um, like, um, that was awesome, when Tony met his father, um, and, of course, he couldn't tell him, like, who he was or anything, and that was awesome, like, my name is Howard, Howard Potts, that's, that's what Tony said, and then, I really like that scene, oh man, how, what else is there to talk about, there's so much else to talk about, I feel like, I, I feel like it's inevitable that I'm gonna, 
I'm inevitable. That's what Thanos said twice in this movie. Like, you mother lover. Like, holy crap. And, uh, oh man, and then Captain America meeting his old self, and he thought it was Loki. His old self thought, uh, current self was Loki. That was crack up. Um, then they fought for a bit. Bucky is alive! And that's what, uh, got, uh, old Cap to, uh, to, uh, loosen his grip, basically. And then, uh, yeah, and, uh, and the, the ancient one was in this movie. She saw the future. You're about five years late. Doctor Strange isn't here. He's currently performing surgery right now. And then Hulk convinces, um, Hulk convinces, uh, uh, ancient one by saying that, uh, that Doctor Strange willingly gave the time stone to Thanos. And that's how the ancient one, they don't know why, but that's how the ancient one, uh, was able to, um, um, you know, be convinced to do it, you know, and, uh, wow, just, wow, and Thor meeting his mother again, uh, that was awesome, and Natalie Portman making a cameo, that was awesome, like, wow, what else? There's so much to talk about. Oh yeah, and, and Nebula, um, how uh, um, old Nebula ran in with current Nebula, like they were connected, and then uh, old Thanos found out that uh, that he ended up winning, and then they all like fight and stuff, and then and then he realizes that they came back to try and undo it, and um, old Nebula, uh. I was about to reference another movie, but I don't want to. Sp I, I realized that I would be spoiling that movie, so I'm not going to sp do that. Um, I'll probably tell if, if anyone comments below what movie I'm talking about that I was going to compare this to. Um, come below uh, asking me what I mean, and uh, I'll say it. But um, I'll say it then. I mean, but um, old Nebula swapping places with the new Nebula. And and the Avengers, the current Avengers don't know it. Oh, oh, the Soul Stone. Hawkeye and Black Widow go to Vormir to um um to get the Soul Stone, and they realize they have to sacrifice one another. Um, well, not one another, but like one of them has to die, and they're all fighting over who has to die. Who, who dies, who gets the Soul Stone, and it looked like it was definitely going to be Hawkeye, but then once Hawkeye jumped off, man, um, like, um, uh, Natasha jumped off with him, and, um, and, uh, and did the, and then they both were hanging off the edge of the cliff, basically, well, not the edge of the cliff, but, like, the side of the cliff, and then Natasha was like, you have to let me go. Then Natasha dies. Black Widow dies. Hawkeye wakes up just like Thanos did in Infinity War and gets the Soul Stone. And then they all return to normal time. There's probably other stuff I forgot to mention during the time travel stuff. But, uh, oh, Stanley's cameo. Stanley's cameo was awesome. I love Stanley's cameo. Rest in peace, my hero, Stan Lee. Um,. Uh, he was playing, like, a younger version of himself, in a way, in the car in 1970, <laughs> that was awesome, uh, miss you, Stanley, miss you, man, um, that was awesome, and then, oh, and then Old Nebula, um, uh, brought in, um, uh, Old Thanos from the past into the current timeline, you know, and, and his entire army, and then they all, there's a huge ass fight, and then, oh yeah, Hulk, uh, Bruce Banner slash Hulk was the one to snap everyone back, and, um, then there's a huge fight, and then it looks like the Avengers are about to be defeated, they're alone, and, oh yeah, oh man, I can't believe I forgot to mention this, uh, when the Thor went back in time, he, uh, he grabbed both hammers, like he got his old Mjolnir back, and, um, 
he was holding both Stormbreaker and Yoni at the same time. That was insane. Like, and then, um, and then he was, uh, he used both of them on Thanos. And then Captain America crabbed Yoni and he was beating the shit out of old Thanos. And then using lightning bolts, that was amazing. And Thanos without the gauntlet was way stronger than we ex I expected, man. And, uh, it was crazy, man. Like, holy crap. Um. Like, whole like, oh, man. That was amazing. And then, looks like they're about to die. And then, old, and then, um. And then, once old Thanos springs in his army, looks like they're about to die. And then, phew, Then all of the dusted characters return. Everyone. You see Hope Van Dyne there, you see um Korg there for the final battle. Everyone Everyone Groot Star Lord Oh and that was funny when Star Lord met old Gamora. Um Oh yeah, that's one thing I loved. The deaths before the snap and Infinity World were one hundred percent permanent. Gamora was really dead. Um uh, Vision was really dead. And Loki was really dead. Um. Like, wow. And, uh. Then they all. One gigantic fight, man. Holy crap. Oh, man. I love this movie. The more I talk about it, man. This is a 10 out of 10. Best film of the year. Easily. Like. This was insane how they did this, man. And then they were just fighting and lots of moments, lots of heart attack moments too. And then I loved it when Tony talked to Doctor Strange, um, saying, um, you said one in 14 million, is this the one? And Doctor Strange said, if I tell you, then it will change, you know, then it won't happen. And then, oh man, and then it was just amazing. You see Ant-Man turn into a giant again, stomping motherfuckers, and then Thanos grabbed the gauntlet, was about to do the snap again, but he nothing worked, and he was like confused, and it turns out Iron Man grabbed all the stones, he did the snap, and all of the bad guys turned to dust, oh yeah, and it was awesome seeing the Black Order in this film again, obviously past versions. And Thanos, he knew he was defeated. Oh, and Thanos, he said, I was going to do half the universe, but now after knowing what you guys are trying to do, I'm I'm killing all of you, you know, and starting a new universe. And Thanos, he dies again. He died twice in this movie, once at the start, once at the end. This movie was all about the Avengers. It wasn't about Thanos this time. You know, oh, and the snap, man. When Tony did that snap, it killed him. I cried so hard when Tony died. Oh, and when the light on his chest shut down. Man. Oh, man. And then proof that Tony Stark has a heart. Oh, man. Everyone at his funeral, and then uh, Captain. Oh yeah, and Captain Marvel. That was awesome. Like seeing all the female Marvel characters like team up against Thanos. Oh, that was awesome when Thanos punched Captain Marvel, and it didn't affect her at all. That was badass. Um, so Thor and Tony were the ones to kill Thanos. Uh, Thor, Thor killed current Thanos, and Tony killed. Thanos for real. And, and Tony himself died. Man, when, when Tony died, I was thinking back to the moment in 2008 when I was just nine years old, seeing, a, seeing Iron Man 1 for the first time. And just thinking about these two moments. Once when I was a kid, I cried so hard when Tony died, man.
And one last thing to talk about in terms of spoiler stuff. I feel like I've got everything, actually. The ending, the very end. Um, when we see Captain America, they're telling Captain America to go back in time and take all the, uh, um, take all the, uh, stones back to the original places, you know, um, to make sure the timeline doesn't mess up. That's what, uh, the ancient one said. And then we see Steve is an old man. He, he decided to stay after returning the stones. And then... And then he he gives over the mantle of Captain America to to Sam. That was a beautiful moment. Every, the guy next to me, he was a cool guy, by the way. He he was like, oh, should have been Bucky. That became the new Captain America. And then we see the red, wedding ring on Steve's uh, hand. And Sam is like, so you're going to tell me about her? He's like, nope. And then the movie ends... Steve and Peggy had that dance. Had that date. And the movie ends. I want to cry thinking about this right now. I'm not going to lie. Wow. Just wow. I'm kind of shocked that only two of the original Avengers died. I mean, wait, isn't Black Widow supposed to be getting a movie? Like, oh man, it's just I'm so also I'm so glad I didn't get spoiled in game. I got spoiled Infinity War, man, and I was freaking livid. Uh, the main things I got spoiled was uh, Red Skull returning for Infinity War and uh, Spider Man dying. But I didn't get spoiled a thing for Endgame. I didn't. And I'm so happy. I made a vow, basically, after getting spoiled in Infinity War, that I would not get spoiled for Avengers 4, because we didn't know it was called Endgame at the time. <sighs> what a movie. What a film. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, this is definitely a 10 out of 10 movie of the year as well. I, I, I want to see it again. I want to see it again. It started and ended with Tony Stark. That's full circle right there. The Infinity Saga is over. I wonder who the next big bad will be. And there was no Fantastic Four or X-Men teasers, which admittedly I was kind of hoping for. But, uh, man. And I'm like I said, I'm glad there was no post credit scene. Because, uh, this didn't need it. This really shouldn't have had a post credit scene. This was the culmination. You know. Wow, man. Just, wow. Alright, so that was my spoiler discussion for Avengers Endgame, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please like this video. Comment below if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel for more great content from your boy. <sighs> the wait for Avengers Endgame. Finally over. That was a long freaking wait for Endgame, man. Like, wow. And I got another little surprise video. Uh, after this, um, stay tuned for that, and yeah, so that was my spoiler discussion for Avengers Endgame, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see y'all later, peace out.